I'm coming up with a couple of shows I want you to star in. Yeah. yeah. Check your contract. It's all legal, right? Yeah. I mean, TMP's only going to uh, fund this fucking thing for a, for a couple more. So we need to actually start thinking more concepts. I really got to maximise the bullshit out of this thing. Concept for you. Partially naked barbecue cooking. You, no pants on, skimpy top, cooking burgers, sausages, whatever the fuck. I'm great on the barbecue. Probably have to lose a few kgs, I think. Me or you? Me. Careful. Good. Good answer. What? Partially naked? What, am I going to have bacon dripping over my nipples or what? I hope so. Yep. I'm 50-50. OK. About 50-50 on what? that one. Barbecue or nakedness? Na both. OK. How about inner city horse riding? Love it. Yeah? Love it. Good. You just ride it through, maybe partially naked, who knows? Uh, no, with the naked. Think of a big city, yep. crossing roads, going through walls, doing what you have to do. That sounds awesome. You know, giving kids a ride. It's fun, isn't it? I think it'll be great. We've got no horses. We can steal those. Like your attitude. Do you do any gardening? Are you any good at it? No. Are you cross-eyed? Not at the moment. How about cross-eyed gardeners? <laughs> do you know any cross-eyed people? I'm being serious I about this. I actually do. Can you go cross-eyed for me? Just try it. You're not really doing it. You're rubbish at that, aren't you? Oh, your eyes closed. No, you look scary. Of course we do cross-eyed. Oh, you'd be perfect for that. Good at that. Perfect for that. Do like and do you like to spend time in the garden? Yeah, yeah. Seven o'clock Wednesday. I like it. Perfect. <laughs> Can you try and do the uh, cross-eyed thing again? You're not very good at cross-eyed. Look at this, Tammy, with the drone trying the cross-eyed. Have a really good look in there. <laughs> yes. It's scary, it's isn't it? Bung eye. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. awful. I don't think it's crossed at all. I think no. that's just bung. There you go. <laughs> okay, Lee, you've got a question for our guest, Tommy. Uh, yes. So your husband, Tim, yes, he's yes. a music teacher. Yes. Now New Zealand's Got Talent. Lots of music in there. Is he quite critical? Does he watch the show oh, and go, uh, yes. Han, why didn't you? Oh, absolutely. In fact, when we were filming some of the auditions, he was sitting up at the seat where I could see him from the side of the Give stage, and he was either giving me that <laughs> or the. <laughs> and he's, he's really cool because although he's a music teacher and, and he's trained in classical music and, and, and he's a real purist, he still is a real big fan of just entertainment. Mm -hmm. You know, so this girl came on and played the harp and she was great and afterwards he was like, she's awesome, but no entertainment value in that, you know. Tamati, is your husband's, <laughs> um, husband's favourite instrument the brown flute? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, classy, Tammy. Classy. Yeah. Um, uh, anyway. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Say more with a question. Say more with a question, Awa. Say more with a question. When they first approached you to do New Zealand's Got Talent, because yep. uh, we have a lot of these shows that happen in New Zealand where we copy it from overseas mm -hmm. and they flop, were you scared that that was going to happen with the show? No, because I knew that they canned Dancing with the Stars a few years back and I knew that they did it for financial reasons so that they could do other shows. But to be able to do these big scale shows, you need the money behind it as well. And so they can't go forking out money all over the place. Yeah. So um, I know that they had actually saved up lots of money to be able to do this. And when there's money behind it, you can put a real good job into it. And I just knew that it was going to be a success. Just like do this you, show. Yeah, exactly. Just exactly. like this show. <laughs> do you look at all the other uh, the shows from around the world and go, well, actually, we don't. We stack up quite nicely. Oh, yeah, absolutely. In fact, we went over to Australia and watched them film their semi-finals for Australia's Got Talent. It was terrible. Yeah. It was awful. You know, we just yeah. sat there watching thinking, that's not <laughs> funny. What are you doing that for? You know, and the judges, they, they weren't warm. They weren't warm with the audience. They kind of walked in and they didn't really look at the audience or anything and then they walked out again and it was like... Hmm. I hope that we do a better job. Yeah, see, I'm still waiting for the judges to... to get really angry and just be like, nah, get off the stage. You, no, you just haven't done it. I think when it comes down to that culling point, now that we're at the semi-final stage, I think there's going to be a, a little bit of that because they'll be fighting for their person that they want yeah. to go through and all of that sort of stuff. So I, I think there might be a bit more fireworks to Excellent. come. Excellent. Well, it's all about music. It's all about the charts. Let's take a look at them quickly. Eh? Here's the music charts. New Zealand top five singles, number five, Diamonds by Rihanna. Okay, yeah, I can see that. Number four, Battle Scars, Guy Sebastian featuring Lupe Fiasco for you. Number three, Come On Home, Titanium, maybe? Not sure. Uh, number two, Gangnam Styles. Thank God it's not number one. It's getting on my nerves by sign. And number one, Live While You're Young, One Direction, unfortunately. They're back again. They are back again. Ugh.
which is just, uh, anyway. <laughs> hey, uh, thank you so much for being on the show. A real pleasure having you, Tamati. Thank you, mate. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for having me. Absolutely. Thanks, Tam. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers, Cass. And your experience not too bad, I hope? Uh, no, I had a great time. Thank okay. you. Excellent. Awesome. Tell the bosses that. Tell the bosses that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> had a few complaints. <laughs> We're going to be back after the break with more, including some social media. Remember, join us on Facebook and Twitter. Back after this. Yeah.